All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about burning. And I know it's like very scary, right? Because burning, when you see pictures of it, like the ones on the screen here, that's going to definitely make you weary of wanting to buy an OLED TV. Especially when one of these examples looks like an alien signal sent to your house, letting you know that you are about to be abducted. You have to admit, there is definitely some weird examples of burning, but that's besides the point. And to be fair, a lot of these examples are from older OLED TVs. These are from the LG C7 and before. And those older OLED TVs had a problem with the red subpixel where they would have a problem with burning. So I should be in the clear, right? Well, I wasn't really sure. So I wanted to make sure we do this live and go through my LG C1 after three years of use. I made sure to cut this up so it's not a tremendously long video, but I'm warning you this will be more of a raw video and just kind of my overall thoughts, maybe a little bit of rambling here and there. Let's start it off by looking at the TV information and seeing how many hours are on the screen. And if you guys are wondering, how do you actually check the hours on your TV? You go from general to devices, and then you go to TV management, and then you go to TV information. And then here you will see a bunch of information about your TV. The main thing you want to look at is total power on time. So you have 5,375 hours into the TV. So the main reason I really wanted to check the C1 for screen burning is because I do use it as a monitor primarily. I do a lot of different tasks on it with a ton of different static elements. Since you know your boy is a big time nerd, we do play a lot of games. I play a lot of weird card games and sometimes some strategy games as well as Xbox games and PlayStation 5 games. So let me show you a couple of examples of static elements that would constantly be up on this screen. So one of the things that I do on this screen is going to be play some games like I mentioned and one of the games that I play is Team Fight Tactics. It's actually a little spin-off game from League of Legends and it probably has a very similar UI. I don't know. I don't play League of Legends personally. I just play Team Fight Tactics but this is a game that I play quite a bit. Now another thing I do is also edit in Affinity Photo. This is going to be how I make my thumbnails. It's much like Photoshop for example and one of the other things I do with this TV is also edit in DaVinci Resolve. That is my main editing workspace and this is how I edit my videos. So there's a lot of static elements there as well and the reason why I'm showing you all of this stuff is so that you can really get an understanding of how much stress I put on this TV. So I'm going to change the picture every five seconds kind of like you would see on a burn-in test. Um, and just kind of look through the, the TV and see if I see anything. So I will show you a video without all this stuff up here and without something here. That's really important for you to see that as well. So here I'm just gonna run through a color checker and uh, if you see any weird anomalies on the screen right now, like little smudges, that is just on the lens itself. And I took myself off of the screen here so I could really you know, show you the whole entire screen without me being in the way. And I just wanted to make sure we see that. Um, I know I'm, I am kind of cutting off this uh, bottom corner here, but uh, I promise you there is nothing going on with that corner. Going into OLED panel care, I have pixel cleaning. Um, screen move is turned on. Adjust logo brightness is actually turned off because if I had it on, it would dim my screen when I'm using it as a monitor. That was annoying. So I turned it off. Um, and you can see that there's no real detriment to the pixels here by having it that way. So now I'm switching the camera and you can look at the screen while I'm talking about burning here. And overall, man, I'm not really surprised, like I was saying earlier, that I don't have burning. I wasn't expecting to have burning. And every TV that I've ever owned so far has not experienced screen burning, with the exception of the LG B7, which did have a little bit of burn in after some time. But that's to be expected with an older OLED TV that had a problem with the red subpixel. So you have to understand that the TVs have definitely gotten better. And over time, will you develop screen burn in maybe year five or six, maybe year four or five, depending on how you use the TV. But you can see that I've been using this TV for three years now and I have no bad results from this TV and I've been using the TV as a monitor. I hope that seeing real world examples like this eases your mind a little bit on screen burning. Um, the fact that I use it the way I use it as a monitor should put your mind at ease a little bit more. Now, I do think there are some use cases that absolutely should not use this monitor. For example, if you are somebody who plays the kind of games that I play, but you play them like every day and that's the only thing you do play, 
and that's literally the only thing you do play, that could cause problems with the pixels. Uh, but if you vary your content, you watch movies in between, you play different games in between, you do different things with your monitor, I think it's going to be absolutely fine. The biggest risk that you run with burn-in is if you have constant static elements over time. It's not going to develop overnight. It's not something like, oh my gosh, I left this on overnight. Now I have screen burning. Typically, that's not how it works. It works over time. So if something is going to be developed on the screen over time and your TV's not running the proper compensation cycles, then you might deal with some issues. For example, if you're somebody who watches nothing but CNN or other news networks 24 seven, and you really don't turn your TV off that much, and you're constantly having the news channels playing in the background, do not get an OLED, it's not for you. But for just about everybody else, you should be absolutely fine. There is no real reason to be afraid of screen burning in 2024, in my opinion. But yeah, hopefully this video did help you out. If you have any experience with burning in the past, you could let me know your experience in the comments. And if you're hesitant on buying an OLED TV, but this maybe helps you, let me know. And if you're still hesitant, on buying an OLED TV. You could talk about that in the comment section as well. Let's have a conversation. And if you guys want me to do a similar video on the S95B, I could actually do that on a live stream or I can make another video just like this if you are interested. I don't know if you guys are interested. That's why I'm making this video uh, to kind of gauge your interest and see if you guys would be interested in things like this. If you guys want to keep watching videos, I have two videos right here that I think you might like. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.